faith in God expressed in service to humankind was planted in the soil of Presbyterian College by its founder, the Reverend William Plumer Jacobs. His personal motto was, I strive and try not to gain great things for myself, but to gain them for God. A visionary, leader, pastor, community developer, and builder of people, William Plumer Jacobs was instrumental in the founding of the Clinton High School Association, the Thornwell Orphanage, and Clinton College, known today as Presbyterian College, a thriving liberal arts institution offering challenging academics and a culture of honor, ethics, and service. Dr. Jacobs received his education at the College of Charleston, which was followed by ministerial studies at Columbia Theological Seminary. In preparation for the completion of his last year of seminary, Jacobs was licensed in the spring of 1863 by Charleston Presbytery. Upon the completion of his studies, he was ordained by the South Carolina Presbytery to serve the First Presbyterian Church in Clinton, beginning in 1864 and continuing until the dissolution of his call on July 28, 1911. A natural-born leader, Dr. Jacobs was instrumental in the early development of the city of Clinton, South Carolina. There, he was the moving force behind the temperance movement in the town and was also responsible for the formation of the Clinton Library Society. He spurred the development of the publishing industry in Clinton, where he began publishing The True Witness in 1866 followed by Farm and Garden in 1867. The creation of both publications eventually resulted in the organization of the Jacobs Press. Through his close relationship with the Bailey family, he was a strong advocate for the formation of the Clinton Cotton Mills, which were central to the town for 100 years. In 1864, following the devastation of the Civil War, Dr. Jacobs dreamed of building an orphanage in the heart of Clinton to assist families and children who were displaced during the war. In October of 1875, Thornwell Orphanage opened its doors to 10 orphan children. When establishing the orphanage, Dr. Jacobs faced another challenge of sending those children to a proper college to continue their education. In 1874, Dr. Jacobs wrote in his journal, I have at last set my heart on a plan. It is nothing more nor less than the establishment of a college at Clinton, which will take a vast outlay of time and money. But it can be done, and, God willing, it shall be done. The institution, first called Clinton College, was organized under the ownership and management of local Presbyterians. The institution was co-educational from the beginning, and its founding purpose was to care for young men and women from the local area. After operating its first 25 years under the sponsorship of the Clinton First Presbyterian Church, PC officially became the Presbyterian College of South Carolina in 1904 with the Synod's vote to assume ownership. By 1909, Presbyterian College offered a curriculum leading to a BA degree, postgraduate work for the MA and a BS degree. Dr. Jacobs died on September 10, 1917 in the published minutes for the Synod of South Carolina. A memorial for Dr. Jacobs is found on pages 58 to 60. As the memorial draws to its conclusion, it is said of Dr. Jacobs that, how one man of delicate body, with defective sight and hearing from his youth, and often the victim of illness, could accomplish all that Dr. Jacobs has done, is indeed a marvel. Truly it may be said of him as of Mary, he hath done what he could, and now, as our Synod reviews the distinguished career of its esteemed and lamented fellow laborer, who, like his master, made himself the servant of all, it may record its appreciation of his inestimable service by borrowing other ways of our Lord. Well done, good and faithful servant.